Ah, uh, so, so rude. rude. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to So, so rude. rude. Ooh, cheers. How are you doing today? Marco, don't lick my toe. That's rude. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit tired from our previous endeavors today. Mm -hmm. But. I am doing perfectly fine. What are you drinking today? I am drinking a pumpkin spice latte with an extra <laughs> shot of espresso. And mine's mango dragon fruit. That's I don't it. care about what you're drinking. <laughs> That's it. We already filmed this. We started filming this and then Mocha was like having a moment. Long story short, I Beyond talked about was, my drink a lot and said this. Yeah, we were, I was trying it. to tell a story and then Leo's <laughs> kid was still drinking, thinking of talking about his drink. Yeah. Anyways. But we're here. We made it. Yeah. And we're thriving. And we're thriving. We're a bit tired because we went to the trash place to take some trash out. But I already told that story. That's not yeah. going to make sense. Well, if, just check our TikTok, so... honestly, because we have shown there where we took down our whole backyard moment. Go see. Crazy things are happening. We're doing renos. Um, probably more soon, too, in our other areas. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but how have you been? I'm great. I love how we're matching both navy blue tops and both jeans. I know. And socks. Wait, do you have a hole in your sock? No. Oh, I, I do. Oh. Cringe. Why do you mean? Cringe. <laughs> Cringe. Um, but. But this is like, like, it just happened. It, it happens. Oh, uh, you know, you know what dogs just happened? <gasps> Mocha made a friend. Mocha had a girlfriend. We saw this beautiful dog and I was like, that could be Mocha's girlfriend. And Mocha was like, I'm in love. Like, Mocha went up and gave her, like, a little hi. It was so cute. In the park. What? Was I there? No, you weren't there. Okay. I'm telling you. No, what I was saying just happened. Are oh. you... Do you know what just happened? There was a beef. Online beef. Mm. Probably the biggest online beef since Katy Perry and Taylor Swift on Twitter. But this time it was between two other duels. Chucky and Megan. Ooh. Let's talk about it. <laughs> well, I'm always going to be team S Megan. Me too. If y'all don't know, Megan just came I don't out like Chucky. The trailer. Why? You literally tried to get us to buy a Chucky doll the other day. Mm. And I don't understand. Because I am... Listen, I'm both. I'm both. I'm team Chucky and team Megan. Megan is a Swifty, so Megan is kind of winning me over. Naturally. And her dance moves are amazing. Mm -hmm. But Chucky is just so sassy. I love his raspy voice. <laughs> Got he a little a, bit of flair to Chucky. He has a kid, like no. a non-binary kid, I think. So that's very progressive of, of Chucky. And I just think, so, you know, Chucky's got the scars to back it up. Yeah, Megan, I have to see, I, w I would have to see, watch the movie. It's giving, um, what's it giving? Like, what other, like, thing do you reference when you see? Megan? Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Dion on crack. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> me when, me when I'm in the club and everything hits. <laughs> Yeah, if y'all don't know what we're talking you about, have to go, go watch, watch the, the trailer. trailer for Megan. She's like dancing. Simply the Which best. I feel like I'm pretty sure there was a gay intern at the movie, like in the And bless them because they put in work. Yeah, like a gay intern was working with them making the mm -hmm. film and then the gay intern was like, You know what's gonna make this movie big? And they're like, What? Like look and we need like, more lights. Focus the camera right there. Center. Center stage. It's a runway. And dance. Dance. Make the doll dance. They're Go like, down. Make the doll dance? They're like, what? How? They're like, they're like this, is, this script... It, it's gotta go just dance yeah cause that's actually what made the whole trailer go viral right now on twitter was mm. just the dance and you gotta step into that sure. moment and now also and I also the doll think... stepped into the moment how much of the how much of the uh, doll is green screen I need to know yeah I need to know who's the actress is it like you know when they put like all the things everywhere probably like that an actual doll with strings no but then I also <laughs> think that there's like a gay intern running Chucky's social media team because mm. like you saw the beef right or not yes <laughs> like i totally did like chucky, i totally Chucky's did chucky's twitter was cussing out megan and megan was cussing out chucky's intern yeah no like not the intern like ugh. how do you explain twitter <laughs> to an old person <laughs> what are you talking about I, i'm on twitter yeah. every day well that's not something to brag about honey what that's not something to brag about honey no, like, I'm I'll, kidding. I'll just check twitter <laughs> yeah no i'm kidding um, but, but yeah, it was funny. I'm not like on Twitter. I, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I don't really engage. It's okay. I never, even, <laughs> I never really even know what to tweet. 
I'm like, oh hmm. my god. Because there's so many people who are so hilarious on Twitter, and I'm just not one of them. <laughs> I think you just overthink a lot. Mm. And then I, I have a lot of drafts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all like we'll be like at a party and then and we're I having get, some drinks and, and i know I'm, i get too tipsy yeah i know, know that when. dion i know that dion gets um, is drunk when i go on twitter and see one of his drunk tweets i'm like i'm like listen i'm gonna get real juicy now <laughs> and i'll just like put it's like bad it gets bad it can either be just like very ominous like yeah never ha, in ha, bet you thought so <laughs> Or it can be very targeted, something like mm. when that ugly bitch tries to build a little... <laughs> and then sometimes it just ends up in your drafts, which is good. But sometimes, I sometimes it. it doesn't. When you don't go through me I'm, and I go through, I'm like, maybe it was a draft moment. But then I, I like, think to myself a lot. Would Seb say this is a draft moment? That's good. Mm. We should go through drafts. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe yeah, we'll just. I feel like we're gonna move forward, because <laughs> I've I I was like I was like vibing today. You know, dancing in the shower, or whatever. Not in the shower, but like while getting ready, whatever. You know, naked yoga. No I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, I was just like vibing while cleaning the house or whatever, and then <laughs> okay. I'm getting to that. So I'm getting to the, the point. shower. The good yeah, day, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so then <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah. So I was doing all that, and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> rolling with the joke then I, forgot, ah! <laughs> then I, I forgot what I was gonna say what okay. were you saying I was saying okay so I guess we moved on from Chucky and Megan <laughs> no, uh, no circle, circle circling back no I think that was it like just the interns are funny they have beef between each other oh my god Duolingo though Duolingo Erica I know about this one <laughs> Duolingo, Wait, y'all. What? Duolingo usually has really funny TikToks and tweets, but they stepped over the line, mama. They tweeted... Did they? That little funny video of Katy Perry getting blasted by slime. Uh-huh. They quote tweeted that and said, oh my God, is that my juice or oh, something like that? Something God. like saying that that's Duolingo's come. That is this rude. I was like, hell. Duolingo. I did not that need to rude. see this at 7 a.m. Uh, <laughs> I think I need therapy thanks to Duolingo. Uh, yeah, I, I, it Duolingo kind of gave me nightmares, honestly. Like, better help. When you showed me the video of just, like, the thing dancing, I was like, this is nightmare fuel. Megan? No. <laughs> Megan and the Duolingo one chasing you in your nightmares. Oh. That is what it's given. That's true. Um, and circling back to Megan, <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we need to just acknowledge that it's potentially going to be an iconic moment in history. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. But you know who is also an iconic moment? Like, a, 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 a moment in iconic Iconic moment in history? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Madonna. Mm. She's in TikTok. Guess what? Uh, I feel like I knew. Bitch, I'm Madonna. I feel like everybody knew. She made a TikTok saying that she's gay. Well, I feel like, like as a queer person, you can just... I knew Madonna was queer. I didn't need to be told. You know? It was kind of evident. Wow. Your left nipple told you. Yeah. And the Same. right one, the right one kind of like twitched, but it wasn't fully there. Oh, maybe just bye. Mm. It's like your hard nipple. <laughs> Remember? Oh my God. Yeah. We were on set the other day and it was so cold. <laughs> and I thought he I was, was I thought, <laughs> Seb went like this and I thought he was like saying like, oh, I got sweaty pits. And I was like, okay. But then I, you, you were like, my nipple's hard. Because I went like this, and it was like, my nipple was extremely hard. And I was like, ew. And then I was like, what? And I'm like, look. I grabbed his hand, and I touched my nipple. It was like, it was poking. Yeah, poking out. Puking. 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 We were on set the other day, and then Your we tongue were... is like green. You always say this, and it's brown, because it's coffee. Mm-hmm. You always say, did you have matcha? And I'm like, no, it's coffee. Mm. It's brown, I not w- green. I <laughs> love my matcha. I miss her. I love you. I love you, Terry. Y'all, fun fact, not oh so very fun God. fact. If we you eat dragon fruit... Are basically playing Animal Crossing. Your poops will look like dragon fruit. And what were you saying? We're basically playing Animal Crossing. Who is? Us, because we planted like a cute little like soil moment. 
And Wait, now we're, we're gonna make animal it like crossing. cute, like in the springtime. We're gonna make like a cute little garden, like an Animal Crossing. Oh, we're playing Animal Crossing except we say hi to people when they come over. Ooh, <laughs> Animal Crossing <laughs> down in Whoville. Is. Ooh, speaking of Jim Carrey, we're gonna watch The Mask later today. Uh, um, we're getting into spooky fields because what day is it? What's the date, Mom? Uh, today is the fourteenth. Fourteenth. Okay, gorge. Because basically, what we're gonna do is, you Kiki. know, we're gonna rev it up a little for the second half of. Rub it up. Uh, rev it up like in a car. So straight. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to rev it up um, for the second half of October. Mm-hmm. What and does rev it up mean? I don't know what it means. Like we're going to pull a hard one. Like we're going to like. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do a lot of like, you know, stuff involving Spoopy Mutt. Lots of costumes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm excited. We have to figure I out. I needed to like. Halloween I needed costume. a rest. We were doing a lot of crazy shit. I feel, but we're back at it. Uh huh. So what's your go-to ideas? Cause I have a few. I have a few. But I don't want to reveal. Me neither. Uh, we're so mysterious. Just imagine slut. Imagine mysterious slut. Yeah. And she's like got slut with a capital T. T. And I. instead of like a U, it's like a U with like a little magic. Yes, I'm Slut. into it. Why are you crying? Hmm? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, see, there's this funny thing, and I think it would be yeah. like, I think it would be my story if I ever went on stand-up, that when I try to be funny, I just start crying. Yeah, I know. And then I would just get into um, my traumas, <laughs> and then I, no, it's genuine. Like, Everyone's I, like, huh, huh. It's always happened my whole life. <laughs> That's so funny. Trauma. trauma. I think it's trauma. <laughs> Yo. Trauma. Oh my god. Trauma. Best time ever, because the last one did not come through, in my opinion. I'm, I'm a stan of all the Halloween. What are you of all the Halloween. Oh yeah, we went to the movies again. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis trauma. We watched Halloween ends, and let me tell y'all, oh. it ended amazing. That was a bit. The, <laughs> the tears, I can cry in command. It was really good. I really liked it. And then the uh, thing that happens after wait, we go pre pre moment. So the one that came out like a year or two, two years ago, whatever. It's like I love all of them, and that one was like one of the worst ones in my opinion. I was like, what is yeah, going on here on this day? On this day here, what is going? Yeah, and it was like marketed as like the last one in a way. So then when they said they were doing another, in reality, I was, it was like, a okay, movie about trauma. Yeah, about trauma, and it was the lead up to the mate to the final event. So I I guess I get it. Yeah. But now this one brought it back. I was like, yes, this is what we needed. A closing and like people online were like, I was crying because it's the end of an era, and I'm like, oh, <gasps> wild. How because they made a lot of movies, yeah, there was a lot. And the thing is, I love a good slasher movie, but they scare me so much because I'm always like, what would I do if there was a slasher coming at me? If there was a slasher coming at you, like, mm, I think I would shake my ass a little to secrets. see if they would like, like get distracted. I'm like, ah! I th- yeah, I think the I best run. approach is definitely that. And do like a low squat and then a dip. Yeah. Yeah. And then I really re- I really want us to make like a gay slasher movie. Uh, That'd be a that movie. is like, yeah. My calling for like, if I've ever wanted to make a film, it always feels like it needs to be a horror. Yeah, that'd be so To start, fun. for sure. So we'll do that to start. And then we have other plans. So stay tuned. I feel like I need to practice though. Because I was telling Dion, I got this... Maybe, yeah. I got this gig. Seth thinks he needs to practice acting, which he he's great. Yeah, but I feel like But at least you, fully... I'm just saying you have other talents too, like like directing down boots. Yeah, but I'm saying I got this gig where I was supposed to get killed. I couldn't do it because of time. Scheduling conflicts. But <laughs> I was scared because I'm like, I don't know how to get killed. I feel like I need to practice that better. Well... <laughs> <laughs> What's the I don't ki- know. well? I don't want to get into. It. Don't say anything that would like trigger anyone. Um, but like, what's the death? Is it like an emotional death or a violent death? I was supposed to be tied up. Oh, apparently. Okay. So, so yeah, that's the thing. Since I would I, just be like, okay, if you're tied up, yeah, action. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not the one that needs to go to acting school. No, honey. <laughs> no, I, I was kidding. Okay, you're tied up. And yeah, like you need to tell up. me more. And like, I'm like, because I'm crazy. coming over. With a knife, and you're scared. <laughs> you're tied up. Three, two, one. Action. Wait, you have to give me a second. Okay. Action. I'm coming over with a knife. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 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 that was good. 
<laughs> but your mouth. But you gotta commit. You gotta really want to kill me. Yeah, but then your mouth, my mouth would have, would have been tied up. So action. it's a movie. Action. Uh, uh, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> 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 That was good, yeah. <laughs> I could do better, but I'm not gonna keep going. <laughs> that was good. Okay, do me. Because uh, I really have to commit. That's the thing. And I, that was only 50%. And I feel like it's like the setting and everything. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you say practice, like, you have time to practice. Yeah, no. You do know that you, there's rehearsals. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna get. They play a creepy song. Ding. Action. They're like, they're like, you're not supposed to scream. I'm like, ah! Oh yeah, you're supposed to have duct tape on. Okay. Ready? And. Not even. I already stabbed you. I already stabbed oh, you. you and you just went. You, you would be like, ah! At least you're, you're getting stabbed. Okay, wait. What is on this day? On this day. End scene. <laughs> we'll practice. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely get to the root of the cause. Yeah, the root of the cause of the problem <laughs> is. Um, the real cause of the problem is... Hot tea. We're back. We're back. Hot tea. I put, like, a whole sound booth moment here, but I was thinking that that would be, like, behind us when we're filming, but it turns but out the way the fit. chairs go doesn't work, so I'm gonna... Ha yeah, we'll make it cuter more, behind us. That's more so if all have... have to sing for songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's for, yeah, recording. <clears throat> so if you guys have any suggestions what we should put behind us, I already have some ideas, but let us know. We feel inspired. It is new. Okay, now back on it. Oh my god, it. yeah, back on it. We have a very exciting announcement. It's not right now, but coming up to do with the wedding, so oh, stay tuned. yeah. Which um, brings me to the topic. 100%. We're sending the first York wedding next week. Yeah, there's going to be a wedding, a family wedding. Dion's brother. And my, Dion is in the wedding party. Uh, so cute. My younger brother, which is cute, because like, he's the first to get married. Um, and yeah, I'm in the wedding party, and I'm we're excited. gonna kiki and celebrate! We Yay! have been attending so many weddings this year. I feel like, well, I've yeah, like that's, that's, we, yeah, yeah, I've never true. been to so many, like, literally ever. Oh no, four! I've done four, you've done three today, this week, mm -hmm. this year. This year, yeah. I'm going on another, and then we probably have another, and then we have another. Ours. Another. <laughs> but... If you were, okay, uh, so... I'm so excited. If you are, if you were, if you're a wedding pastor. Yeah. Pretend you're a wedding pastor. Imagine it. Picture it. Got you're it. You're in like the Like the one ordaining them? Yeah, you're the ordaining. Okay. Or the ordainer. Gotcha. Who would you want to marry? Like, who would you want to ordain the wedding for? It can be anyone in the world. Two people? Yes. Are they already in love? Or I'm assuming they're going to fall in love? They don't fall Like, you make them fall in love. Because... Oh, I'm like a little... Yeah. Pixie of love. Yeah. Who, Got you. Anywhere in the world, anyone in the world, who would oh, you ordain? Um, I would have to fly around, you know, see a couple countries first, peruse the aisles. I'm not, I'm not saying you have powers. <laughs> <laughs> when I say you're well, I'm, I'm, married, <laughs> I said pick I two people you would like the to scene. ordain. I am painting the scene. Okay. So you fly around, you know, a couple valleys, high and low. You know, see different I celebs. Clients, you don't I don't know why my money. mind goes to like wanting to get two celebs to marry. Yeah, obviously that's a, that's a pain. Oh, wait, can I travel in time? Sure. <laughs> I feel like there's no easy answer. <laughs> so... <laughs> I feel like there's no easy answer to this question. What would you do? I think I would do... Oh my god, maybe... Maybe I would do Lizzo and Harry Styles because I think they'd be a cute couple. Oh yeah, that's or such a good answer. I would do. Mm, let me think. Who would I like to marry? I should mention myself. Mm, I don't know. Accurate. I'll ordain you and Sean. Ooh, can you ordain me and Sean and Ross Lynch and Harry Styles? 
Um, yeah. It's going to be Polly a long Marley. ceremony, so keep the, you know, the individual rituals down to a bare minimum. We don't care that much about the ceremony, just the kiss part. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank well, you. we can arrange that. Thank you. I'll show up <laughs> in, like, the biggest gown ever. <laughs> like, you guys won't have any room. Thank you. <laughs> You'll all be in individual corners of my dress. If you were another wedding question, so imagine, <laughs> close your eyes. It's your wedding day. Mm-hmm. You are gorgeous. And then one of your guests comes wearing all white. Do you let them in or do you kick them out? The floor is yours. Um, I'm not concerned. You know, it's my day. I'm happy on my wedding day. So honestly, I'm not concerned. If someone wants to wear whatever they want, like... Well, I am, so don't even think about it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, like, well, like, no, I, like, like I just wouldn't want to waste my time because, like, that day is so precious every moment. Yeah, counts. you have people to waste it. You get, you can tell anyone, hey, take oh, them out. Yeah, you like, don't have to. Well, I, them you out. do this. You do this, right? We're, we're at our table at the wedding. There we go. Just a blink, and everyone knows what to do. Oh. We don't have to worry <laughs> about it. Uh, no, but we l- recently learned the term because for our wedding, we really wanted everyone to step up, mainly the men, because that we don't want them just to wear a regular black suit and call it a day. <laughs> mainly the men. No, in my opinion, everyone. Well, like it's like no, but like like. Well, we're gonna acknowledge LGBTs, that most straight LGBTs, men are yeah. gonna wear something a little more LGBTs and reserved. women and in my majority put more effort into what they wear. I, I don't need it to be anything like... Extraordinary. Just put a little no, bit of exactly. thought into it. Get a pattern. Mm-hmm. Get a splash. So uh, somebody told us that <laughs> there's a thing called Upstage the Bride, uh-huh. which is like everybody comes up matching the vibes. Which, yeah, that's why I like, because it's like almost like a prom. Yeah, so I everyone want looks that. their yeah. best. Yeah. Because then it's like everyone do uh, what you want, and we're like, we'll, we could even like pick a couple colors more than like two. Like th- three to four, maybe, and then be like, just wear one of these or whatever you want, in that way, and like, you could give options. Like, if you want to dress it up with like a little, Dion really wants to have a fascinator wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. If you want to get a, I think if you say fascinator and you say like eleganza, I say... that kind of thing, then people will take it in a good route. Yeah. Like eleganza couture fascinator. For because a lot of people don't know what any of these things mean, so you just make I'll it just simple. Say, oh, gay. Okay. No, not gay. <laughs> not gay. Yes, gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a goof. Huh. I love you. Um. So, funny I story. Wow. We went to the Taylor Swift club night experience. It was magical. It was magical. We danced to Taylor Swift for like immaculate. several, maybe five hours. Yeah. And and then it turned into another club. And then one of like, we, we one of move. our accompanists, our very good friend. A good companion of ours. Our very Wait, good friend. We'll have them talk she about it. Knew. Oh. Wait, no, this is another one. Oh. She knew that it was a Taylor Swift night. And then the next day comes oh up God. and oh she's God. like. Wait, wait, wait. So, they just played a lot of Taylor Swift. I'm like. And Hi! So every time, like, every time we see her, she knows Seb's, like, you know, like, loves Taylor. And she'll always be like, Taylor's not that good. She'll know, she'll be like, but she also, I used like, to like her old stuff. Yeah, like, she she always says that. And that's true, because she used to play in the car, like, with me growing up. Like, she would play Taylor's old stuff. But then she said she doesn't like the, like, the new stuff since, like, Reputation. Reputation. No, since 1989. 1989, yeah. However... And then, however, when, when we're like, we were pre-drinking in the hotel before the, the Taylor event. Um, but anyways, um, she was singing like the, every lyric to like Reputation. Yeah. And, and I was, was like, I see, single, I see you. And I was like, I see you, queen. Um, but we all had so much fun. Yeah, we well, had... no, then we get in there. And then um, oh. after like an hour, um, they were like, no, like we really want them to play something other than Taylor. Oh. Um, and we can go to, they're like, can we go to a club with guys? Because it was like all girls and gays. And we're like, well, it's a Taylor Swift night. <laughs> and then Dion and them go to take like a shot. And I got really mad for a second. Oh my God. It was, it was funny. We really should have filmed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we were all super drunk. It was like all the alcohol hit. 
And then Seb just got pissed because we went back to the hotel to take shots because we didn't want to buy shots. And but the hotel then, was like right there. So we just like I was, to go back. I was at the club with our other good friend. Yeah. And then we were both really drunk. So Seb, I know it was the three of us, right? Like yeah, my Seb was friends. with two friends and then I went with my other two friends. But then one of our friends <laughs> fell down. <laughs> Yeah, he was, like, so drunk. So he should have left, like, when I left, but everyone was still vibing. Um, but he literally would, like, be falling backwards <laughs> as he was dancing. Iconic. A death Iconic. drop. And then, um, so we and went we're, out. We're gonna, we, we're gonna have this special guest on the pod, probably, Yeah, he can tell so. you his side of the story. <laughs> we'll, we'll hear that. No, so then me and the two friends went to get a margarita and chip and fries for our friend that was falling down. And I was pissed at Dion. I was like, how can he leave? Yeah, he like, was super mad. Nice. And he was like being really rude over text. I don't know. <laughs> no, I wasn't, even, what I wasn't even replying. I was just saying, sure, and smiley face. <laughs> and then, but I wasn't telling him where we were. Yeah, and then, I was like, yeah, that's it. He calls our friend that is with me, and our friend doesn't know that I'm mad at Dion. And he goes, yeah, we're in Margaritaville. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, he knows now. <laughs> and then I went, said and lived like, oh, we're going over there right now. Because we were in the hotel taking our shot. And like, I was like, just venting to them about how Seb was being so mad at me. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? He's so mad. And they were like, well, we can't blah, blah, have the whole night ruined. And you got to go say sorry. And I was like, I know. And I don't, I don't know why, why he's so mad. Because um, you left me alone in my Taylor Swift night. I did not leave you alone. You were with two friends. But then and I was at this point... It, but was, anyways, it's funny. Yeah. Because I, we, we get to like the Margaritaville fight. And <laughs> we're all like just so drunk. And like Seb's <laughs> refusing to look at me. And my friends are trying to get Seb to like interact. And then the other two are trying to like get... Talk to Seb and talk to us. And it was like... No. Everyone the in the one. restaurant our was just... That, we our, were all being so loud. Our friend that was falling, he was just eating his fries. He wasn't... Oh, well, he, he was he like falling even asleep. Realize what was yeah. <laughs> But then the other five of us were completely being so loud. And we were like, ah! I'm like, please, give me my space. And I just kept walking in, and then Seb, like, wouldn't talk to me, so I would just leave again. And then <laughs> someone would come get me and be like, he wants to talk. And then I'd go back in, and then Seb would be like, and then I would just leave again. And the whole restaurant was just like... I know. Somebody should have filmed it. But then, it was only like... It was like, iconic. But we we get to recreate it in a The TV gag show. is, it was only 10 p.m., yeah, we all thought it was, it was like very early. Midnight. So then, after this but little was, moment, we went back to we the club. Because we started drinking at like... Six. That's what happens when you start drinking too early. Yeah. The night gets real cray. But then we went back to the Taylor Swift club, danced the, not, danced the pain away. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, it was great. Because we, li- cause we danced yeah. till like two in the morning. And right after we got back, I had Oh, wait, we have to talk about the fight. Yeah, it's not coming. It's we're coming oh, right there. <laughs> Right after we got back, I have this really cute video of the six of us dancing to All Too Well. Uh, We're all like, ah, oh, Sue. It, it was, was so a, cute. Yeah. Like, y'all, have you ever had a moment with your friends and you're all like this around each other? Yeah. Spinning a circle, <clears throat> singing or whatever. It was really fun. That was a, such a cute moment. And then the night kept so, going. It's getting crazy at this point. Like, um, our friends are like... We got them... Having a little... We got them the hook. Having a good time. We got them they're, the hook. They're like, you know... Because then more people came in, like, after the Taylor Swift music stopped, a lot of uh, straight people came in. So, our friends had a great time mingling. Yeah, the two girls find two, found two guys to switch around. Things got crazy. Like, Seb and I and um, our friend were, like, huddled in a corner, just, like, about to be like, okay, are we leaving or whatever? And then all of a sudden, like, we get sh- separated, like, shoved apart, and I see two people, like, toppled on the floor. Yeah. And, and I thought Seb was the one fight. on the bottom, because, like, the one guy was, like, completely over him, and for a good five minutes, you couldn't see the guy on the bottom, so I was like, <laughs> is that Seb? And I was, like, freaking out. But no. But then, no, like, really quickly, I saw you you beside us. Yeah. And me and my, me and our other friend were, like, recording, and we're like, fight, fight, fight! And then Dion comes up to me, he's like, I Seb, was... no! Do not be an instigator! <laughs> Yeah, I was like, no, no. <laughs> I've never but seen a fight that big in a club it before. It exploded I was very like, quickly. Shit. I don't know who those they were. Those two, those two were the ones who started it. But then, like, because, and then there was I another guess, one at the same time. On is the that other what side like straight people do? If they see a fight, they start fighting as well. Yeah, I think so. Because that's what happened. Like three other people started fighting. Yeah, and and the was thing like, is, like, if you think about it, like, on? even, like, I think about, like, my parties in middle And school. it was glass everywhere, immediately. Immediately, like, shattered glass on the entire dance floor. Oh, wait. So, I don't bitch. know who was throwing glass while they were fighting, but it was, like, insane how much glass there was. But even when we first got there, 
our they threw friend, yeah, glass our at our friend, friend had a, her glass and she put it down Y'all on the table. Cynthia. They li- <laughs> Cynthia was like, this bitch threw a glass at me. And I was like, when? And she's like, at the beginning of the night. And I'm like, what? And so I was like, how did this happen? I didn't see it. Because she grabbed her glass and put it on a table. And apparently it was one of the ones that you have to, like the tables that you pay for ball service. And the bitch sitting People there get, like, grabbed the glass. Yeah. And I'm like, bitch. It's like the whole, there's no one at bottle service. There's like 10 booths. Someone is going to come and grab it either way. Yeah. Like pick it up. Like, And you're not sitting there. How does anyone know you're there? Yeah. It's not like five of you are at this. Anyways. It was um, iconic how she got a glass thrown at her and no one noticed, and she didn't tell us until the morning. I know. I would have. I would have bitched the bitch out. Yeah. Hmm. Icon. But then the night ended amazingly. We went to the falls the next morning. Oh my god! And That's gotta keep can't video. Keep the night away. The falls is so like. I always forget how cool it is when you're there. I know. And Seb was like, "How does it work?" Yeah. <laughs> Because Niagara Falls, if you don't know what Niagara Falls is, it's waterfalls. It's waterfalls. But where do they come from? That's my question. So I was asking, how, like, does, how the does the water it not around? run out? Yeah. Who is making the water come back around? Gravity. Gravity. But you, you know, know what I also don't get? Young people, please, like, you know, work on being good to the planet. And Is make that, systems yeah. and businesses that are good for the planet and like do your part these and have beautiful hope. Things you know? that we're so lucky to experience. Yeah, they're going away. They're going away fast at an alarming rate, honestly. Um okay. it's actually terrifying. So everyone but... just be hopeful. Um Wait, you know Are we what? are we a robot? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what should be the next so Halloween ended. The Halloween series ended the movie so you know what should be the new scary thing freaky friday no ma i've told you this before wait ma ma and then we do ma 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 and then ma 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 two yeah i've told you this so like the movie ma it's iconic now imagine the second the sequel to ma yeah it's called mama don't you think they've already filmed it i don't think if not it's a missed opportunity but wait it's called mama she survived the fire and yeah. then she goes I definitely think she's fired. She moved she away to a survived. different town where she makes friends with a different high school and then the high school kids find out that she is the same person from yeah. the other town. And then they're gonna talk to the reg- the OG kids. Yeah. yeah. And that's the mama. Yeah. And then the third one would be Um Mama just... Mia. Wait, 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 save it. Because we really need to go to the writer's room with this. I know. Mm-hmm. Or no, the third one could be Can be Ma the sequel. No, the third one would be Ma, Ma back home. Ma back home. Mm-hmm. And then it just keeps going. Just keeps and she going. just like never dies. Yeah. And, and then, it's like, Ma again. Ma. Wow. Ma, Ma Mia. It's almost like we're following the format of like Scream. Oh, Mother. Yeah. So the plot like, of the Scream yeah. movies. But it's like with Ma. With Ma. With Octavia Spencer. I think oh my God. she and needs to call us. And there's a Mama Mia cross collab yeah then there's mama mama mia and it's like a musical <laughs> a thriller, musical of horror ma mixed in in mama mia yeah yeah i think there's a lot amanda seyfried there should ma. be like there can be one that is like the origin of ma and it's yes. ma um um and sigrid can make the soundtrack why <laughs> <laughs> why not <laughs> oh and also also I was just thinking really hard of the artist name because I was like what is it again Sigrid 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 what were you thinking about Sigrid I don't know I couldn't think of the name so I started thinking about it anyways okay. circling back circling back <laughs> ma we need to get into production yeah I need to contact whoever I need to contact so we'll get the di- the digits don't steal my ideas don't scream in the mic please we've been screaming all night long that's <laughs> oh <laughs> anyways yeah I think that's all the no, word news we have for I'm you today I'm having a great time okay we must have more we must. We must. Have more. What shall we tell about? Um, my apex. Yeah. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be modest about it, or are we gonna come out and say it? What? You have an apex. I do. You don't. I don't think so. You've been hitting the gym, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think that's it for today's podcast. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Anyways, y'all, thanks for joining. So, bro. It's been very that. We'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next one. Bye, Dwarves. Shout out to the demonetized besties. The rainbow clown besties. And the Sebastian collectors. We love you so much. And um, yeah, new podcast every Friday. This love is out on Saturday, you. but from now on it will be Friday. Stay. And spoopy, special spoopy episodes coming. We're going to be just... <laughs> We're gonna be in costume. Uh, yeah, we'll be in costume next week. Next week, and so. then the next, the week after that, we have a special guest. Oh, how many? The week after that, because I think one. we have two who are asked to be. Yeah, so the week after that one, and then maybe the week after that, I got another one. Cute. So we'll see you guys then. We love you so much for <gasps> episodes on Patreon. Bye bye. So rude. <laughs> <laughs>